deans, dignitaries, and most importantly, our parents too. Trust is built on communication, commitment, and consistency. The orientation day is our step forward to establish a so much, communication sir, channel such an with our speech. newly inducted students like and their parents. Therefore, to start this journey on a blessed note, we will now have. I request Ramana sir to please come out of the dais once again. Beautiful class. Now, I request our principal, Dr. P. Rajesh, to facilitate our chief guest, Dr. R. Shridhar. I would request Major General Chandrasekhar Mani to facilitate Mr. Ramesh Mani, Mr. A. Ramana. Deans, dignitaries, and most importantly, our parents in 2022. Trust is built on communication, commitment, and consistency. The orientation day is our step forward to establish a communication channel with our newly inducted students and their parents. Therefore, to start this journey on a blessed note, we. We understand that giving back to society is very important to continuously grow the society. Therefore, most of our projects are aimed at solving community problems. We as a college dealing with the professional course understand the necessity for our students to make our students industry ready. We have collaboratively worked with IBM and Cisco to get our students courses relevant to their subjects. We also have various technical student chapters such as Google Developer Student Club, Elec In Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineering, Engineering Without Borders, Indo-Universal Collaboration for Engineering Education and much more. Our aim is to equip our students with social conscious and technical skills. Our students secure their career by actively participating in molding their own career. We ensure our students are in constant communication with the career department from the first year itself, where they are given an opportunity to explore their own work, uh, their own interests via projects, seminars, and workshops. Each year, a different aspect of career development is executed. Starting from soft skills and going to placement right preparation, we also help our students with higher education preparation by helping them in planning out colleges and studying for the competitive exams such as GATE, IELTS and GRE and many more. We also focus on our students' interests beyond engineering and have affinity clubs ranging from sports, dance, literature, arts, self-defense uh, to Toastmasters, we also have two actively running NGOs. Our sole aim as an institution is to support our students in all their 
endeavors and produce society conscious engineers now i would like to introduce our dean strategy and operations mr vamshi koka mr vamshi is an alumnus of indian school of business where he did his executive mba and herald walt university united kingdom where he obtained his masters in embedded system engineering he is a versatile business leader with over 20 years of collective experience as a management consultant as an entrepreneur as the dean for strategy and operations at our college he handles a diverse portfolios of strategic planning partnership collaboration and much more he loves teaching and is a regular visiting faculty to various institutions such as iit hyderabad wokson university and indian school of business now i would like to invite him to speak on hitam journey a four years road map thank you siddharth and sriya good morning everyone those in the back you are able to hear me those sitting in the back can hear me good very good morning to everyone the chief guest of the day dr sridhar of csc at jnt hyderabad and also the coordinator for cyber security center of excellence our guest of honor from the industry mr ramesh mantana vice president hr of evoke technologies and mr ramana anchuri senior engineer in the education group of mathworks and the students parents the leadership team of hitam heads of the department faculty and all staff of hitam a very warm welcome to all of you first of all congratulations to all the students who are embarking on their journey to become the engineers of tomorrow whether hitam was your first preference or was one amongst few other preferences you would soon realize that is the best choice you made over the next 4 years you will be surrounded by countless opportunities for leadership and also personal growth let me ask all the incoming students and the parents a question how many of you are anxious about the college life ahead mila entha mandi in college life gundi entho konda anxiety lo tension lo unnaru raise your hands good that's expected right So next few minutes I'll take you to the journey of Hitam and where we are heading so that we can move forward together with confidence. I don't know how many of you are aware we started as a Royal Engineering College in Madak in the year 2001. In the year 2007 we moved to Hyderabad rebranded as Hyderabad Institute of Technology and Management and especially in the last 4 years we are on a fast track. When we are saying we are on a fast track you have been recognized or acknowledged by the regulator you have been accredited with nba for all eligible branches nac a plus for the institution performer band in aria and we have become autonomous 2 years ago we have also been recognized by the market so we are ranked 10th in times of india ranking amongst the colleges of telangana and 90th in the colleges across india so where are we headed next slide so where are we headed in the past we have been an affiliate college now we are an autonomous college yours is the second autonomous batch which is coming in and the future what we are aiming to become is a technological university which will become a hub for emerging technologies and multidisciplinary engineering but to go on this path we need the right kind of drivers and who are the drivers obviously is the people people in the institution in the organization which make things happen so the founding team Prashant Darutla who is the founder and chairman is an alumnus of ISB and is also from a family of freedom fighters in Telangana. Surender Rao who is a secretary and he is an educationist and Tirupati Reddy who is based in the US alumnus of Alabama University he is a serial entrepreneur. Along with these people we have people who guide very closely. Professor Sanjay Dande the former director of IIT Kanpur he guides on strategic objectives Professor Ashok Shetter, who is the Vice Chancellor KLE Tech, he guides Hitam on curriculum innovation and examination reforms. Gopal Krishna Joshi, who is Executive Director Karnataka State Higher Education Council, he guides on quality initiatives and outcomes. And Dr. Malikarjun Babu, who is the former Vice Chancellor Reva University, who guides on accreditations and rankings. 
All these are also part of the governing body, along with many other eminent people, including Dr. Sri Devi, who is on the governing body of Hitam, and Professor Sanjay Dande is the chairman of the governing body. Now, with these changes, and the people who are driving and guiding, there should be someone to execute, to lead it at the institution. And we have a dynamic leadership team here, coming from diverse institutions, eminent institutions across India, the list you can see there. All these are aligned with making Hidden an institution of excellence. So how are we different? How is Hidden different? So at the start, one of the things is we are student-centric and we are a lean institution. So we have about 1,800 to 2,000 students on campus and when we are saying student-centric, like Siddharth and Sia talked about it, we involve students in the decision-making process. Holistic student engagement and immersive learning experience. Now these two things, the various initiatives we have got, which they also touched upon, the Doing Engineering and the Affinity Clubs, and various other initiatives like student skill development centers, students get to learn hands-on. And mentoring, we have a chief mentor, retired Major General Mani Chandra Shekhar, who is creating the framework for giving a holistic mentoring for the students. And we create industry-ready professionals. And for that, we involve the industry both at the curriculum design level and also with the various initiatives and programs we have on campus where the student is not just learning something from the textbooks, but also getting ready for the industry through the Career Design Center. And students are groomed as leaders through the SSG, the Student Self-Governance, where we have an entire student body representing the leadership team. And various affinity clubs, not just becoming a member of the club, there are over 22 clubs. You can also, if you're interested, come up with an idea for your own club. And you might be aware of this, that we are an IGBC certified green building and there's no air conditioner anywhere on the campus and we are the silver vibrations. Bringing in the excellent framework which other institutions are working on, blended with what we are doing. And Hidam realized early on that this is the way forward and we already entered into partnership with IIIT Hyderabad for a research affiliate program wherein about 80 students were part of it last year and the second batch is going now. And five of our students are actually working on internship in IIIT campus. Musong University in South Korea, we have a partnership with them. It's one of the top universities based in Daejeong, and the first batch of students will be going for an immersion this year. In addition to this, we also have the industry partnerships with IBM and Cisco with the labs on campus. The most important thing any parent or the student would be looking for when getting into any college is what is it after four years? Once you're graduating, what is your career path? So there are various options you'll be having. You may go for higher studies, you may become an entrepreneur or get placed in the companies. So we have a career design center which works with the students very closely right from day one to make them industry ready, the various training programs which are there. And the career paths you typically have, you can either go for a competitive examination, go into the government sector, the public sector, go for a private job in a IT company or a core company, or even go for the PSUs through exams like GATE. So we have a comprehensive training plan with a career mapping done for the students in year one so that we identify what is that you're interested in, provide you the right kind of platform to build your aptitude skills, reasoning skills, coding skills, even getting you ready for interviews, the mock interviews, and group discussions. Other focus area for us is the paid internships, which you have taken up last year. And last month, we had students who got selected into Goldman Sachs for a paid internship with one lakh rupees per month as a stipend. And just two days ago, we got about 10 students who got selected for internship in Broadridge. The Career Design Center is working very closely with the industry and your batch, which will be the graduating batch of 2026, by the time you reach your second and third year, you'll be aligned with what the industry needs and your placements would start in your 3-2 itself and by the time you're in 4-1, most of you will either get placed or you'll be already selected for a higher education 
in one of the universities you prefer. So what we need from you is the commitment and clarity in terms of where you're wanting to head, utilize the services which are there on campus, and there's a very helpful team which is always ready to help you, the leadership team, the entire faculty, the mentors who are assigned to you, who will be more than willing to help you at any point of time, reach out to them. You have a student self-governance team, anything which you can't discuss with the faculty, you can also reach out to them. They'll be your point of contact and you'll have a student engagement team as well. So you have many people who are always ready to help you. Just make use of what all facilities you've got on campus. So with that, I'd like to wish all the best for the incoming batch, which will be the class of 2026. Thank you. Uh, now I would like to introduce our principal, Dr. Rajesh Kumar, who is an alumnus of IIT Madras, from where he obtained his PhD. He's working as a visiting scientist at the Center for High Performance Embedded Systems, Nanyang Technologies University, Singapore, which is located in Singapore. And during, uh, during 2007, he's a result-oriented professional who worked as head of the department in reputed engineering colleges, as well as the chairman of board of studies for electronics and communication engineering since 2012. His effectiveness in leading the departments and the institutions lead towards successful accreditations like NBA and NAC. He's also instrumental in establishing various research labs. I would now invite our principal, Dr. P. Rajesh, to present his address on institutional achievements. I request Dr. Rajesh to please come on to the dais. Me Andarki Hitam Engineering College Palukutundi Mimalni E. B. Tech Admission Ki Sukuna Taravata Project Based Learning Thirty Safli Kutul Kavalani Asistundi At the outset Highly respected Chief Guest of this orientation day, Dr. R. Sridevi, Madam, Professor Sanjay Dande, Chairman of Governing Body of this prestigious institute, Mr. Ramesh Mantana, Evoke Technologies Vice President, HR Department, Mr. Ramana Anchuri, Senior Executive of MathWorks, Dr. B. Ramohan, Director Academics, Major General Mani Chandrasekhar, Chief Advisor and Mentor for this prestigious institute, I welcome uh, all faculty members of leadership members of Kitam for this orientation day. At the same time, I once again welcome all the parents and the students of first year student uh, first year to this particular institute. This institute will run engineering program as project-based learning. Here we implement many projects for every course in every year so that the student will learn engineering effectively. Coming to the achievements of this institute already our dean strategy planning mr Wamsi mentioned that this institute has nac a plus accreditation and all the br branches which are eligible got nba accreditation and also this institute is a band performing 
institutes range in the atal ranking and this institute has faculty with different backgrounds across the country that's why this institute is flourishing every year and also achieving new targets and we are having very strong management at our institute because of management support our labs are getting developed with the industry support and we are having programs which are tuned to the industry requirement in the first year itself we will identify students in which stream they would like to flourish further what are their desired goals based on those desired goals we are having different programs for meeting their aspirations and this institute is being supported by many prominent faculty across the country for challenging subjects we are taking support from industry and premier institute and this is the institute which is having iuce support to see that in classroom i am teaching are they learning or not with that motivation here studies will happen for the students and also for your information recently our alumni students started startup company delivered product of worth 4.5 lakhs to indian maritime university so we are having startup culture which is prevailing from the beginning onwards and our students are training to become entrepreneurs and also to achieve their aspirations using shortest path possible and also i would like to mention one more important thing that this institute is for students student centric activities will be done every year kuptanga cheppali ante hitam me hitam korutundi so ee institute lo cherina prati student ki either placement or startup company start cheyataniki support to or higher education velataniki vaale kavalsinatuvanti sadupayalani kalaga chestundi so this is the institute for students and i wish good luck for newly joined sanjay dande professor dande is an innovative technologist and acclaimed academician and eminent researcher and a visionary institute builder professor dande strongly believes in reforming curriculum of technical education that will be suitable of indian society he received his doctoral degree from iit kanpur with an outstanding academic record after completing his academic work in the united states of america he returned to india to build a new vision of computer based engineering dr dande is recognized as the founder of technology of computer aided design in india with contributions both in academia and industry he led the initiatives of introducing several other computer based technology for his out in 2013 he is also a recipient of five honorary degrees from different academic institutions in india he is associated with us as the chairman of a governing body i would now request professor sanjay dande to address the gathering
Thank you very much and good morning to everyone. Mr. Ramana, General Chandrasekhar and Professor Rajesh Kumar, all the eminent people on the dais as well as off the dais. Dear parents, their students and gentlemen, I welcome all of you to Hitam and also congratulate the parents and their wards for such a wonderful decision that they have taken to join Hitam. It's going to be a very wonderful and eventful four years of your life. Please remember that this is the only investment which pays for the whole of your life. In some sense, what you acquire in the quantity is over, quality is just beginning. Quantity was where professional education in the late 50s and 60s became very prominent. And if you have got two children, one should be a doctor, one should be an engineer because professional education was very important. Of course, that was the way to become empowered in terms of uh, uh, acquiring skills and acquiring the higher positions in life. That part, because the number of colleges, the population has increased to such an extent, there is an explosive growth in the student population also. And therefore, quality, quality and quality is the only thing that distinguishes you from the other people. If you look at engineering, you will find there are millions and millions of engineers. If you look at computer science as the hot uh, branch, uh, you will find there are also thousands and thousands of uh, computer engineers. Why should a company look at you? Why should one look at you? And that is the most important question that you have to ask. And the only reason why a company will select you or why your startup will become a successful startup is because of the quality, quality and quality. So please remember the most important word that Eatham and every one of us will try to emphasize on you is in terms of quality. It's a very difficult word. Let me tell you that quality is not so simple to define. It's not a mathematical term, though there is a quality circle of India, etc., etc., and statistical quality control are some of the terms used by industrial engineering department. But please, let me tell you that overall quality is a very different issue. The second most important thing is that after every five years, technology changes. So whatever you will learn in terms of your skills, they may become obsolete in some sense after 10 years or after 15 years. So you've got to be a lifelong learning student throughout your life. So acquire those skills which are important from lifelong learning. You must become a self-appointed teacher, a self uh, um, kind of actuated or self-motivated student. You must become a university of yourself. That is another important aspect of life that you have to remember that no longer whatever you learn for four years the rest of your life will be useful for it. Of course it is useful, but what is important is to remember the foundation of life is going to be laid in these four years. And therefore, lifelong learning is the most important part. You are not joined Hitam. You have joined a university called Lifelong Learning University. Of course, you will find that there are some of you who will go for startups. There are some of you who will join the family business. There are some of you who will also go for jobs. Whether you go for any of these things, you will find that some knowledge, some principles and some skills are very important. I classify the skills as primary skills, secondary skills and tertiary skills. Please remember what you learn in your engineering courses would be related to tertiary skills. But the primary skills are honed at the home level and please remember that since the home is where you spend most of your time while 
eight hours or six hours of the day you are spending in the college of Hitam. Obviously, the parents as the teachers are very important. I will come to that in a minute. But primary skills are honed in the at home. The secondary skills have to be acquired by the students themselves. And this is regarding the critical thinking, creative thinking, and a computational thinking. And students are good at it because they are very good learners, they are very fast learners. I have a lot of faith among the students and I have found out that the good students are shining everywhere throughout the country or throughout the world for that matter. So please groom the excellence in you and please focus on the quality aspect of life. Now coming to the parents, I would like to mention that the parents should not fulfill their egos through the students. It is very important that every parent should become a student himself or herself. Then you will realize how to look at the students from their eyes. You have to become a teacher yourself. You have to become a student yourself. And you have to become an administrator yourself. So all the three roles are embedded in the parents and parents should not. I remember once I was in the college and somewhere in uh, an educational institution and the parents were carrying the certificates. I said, is your uh, child uh, paralytic? He says, no, 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 the child is not paralytic. So I said, why can't the child carry your certificates? His own certificates are carried by the parents. And that is a stupid way of doing things. Let the students learn. Let the students learn the hard way. That is the way to become uh, a person in life. So please do not give them the kind of uh, uh, props that are required, that are unnecessary in life. Let the students acquire the skills. Let the students become independent so that they can lead the life successfully. Therefore, it's very necessary that the parents should be teachers, parents should be students, and parents should be administrators themselves. If you are a good uh, of all these three roles, you will find that students are very comfortable in staying at home because they find that they can learn at home, they can also administer, they can see that they will be administered very properly, and let them express themselves, give them space, give them love, give them affection, but don't pamper them, don't pamper them at all. Now students go through a lot of stress nowadays. There are all kinds of stresses, whether it is the career stress, whether it is interpersonal stress, whether it is uh, the friendship which is going to be under stress, and all these stresses they want to express. They cannot express with the parents. Why they can express with the friends? And that is why friendship is important as compared to the parents when they are in, in Hitam. So please remember that developing a friendship relation with your child is very important. And therefore, the, the students should be able to express what they feel like in front of the parents. And that is very important. Also, the parents, students are very confused whether I should go for a job, whether I should go for a... There are many decisions that one has to take in the four years that are uh, at Hitam. So all those decisions require a professional counseling service. So you must become a good counselor so that the students can be given the pros and the cons. Please do not take the decisions on their behalf. Give them the options and ask them to take a decision. That will be the better part of uh, decision making as well as developing a relationship with the students. I would like to say to the students that the most important thing that they have to remember is the skills, knowledge and principles. Practice the skills, acquire the knowledge and apply the principles. The principles that you will learn through your courses, through the different uh, options of the uh, different principles that you will learn, you will find numerical problems, you will find some problems and apply those all the time 
once you start using the principles you will become familiar with them similarly you have to acquire the knowledge and nowadays fortunately because of the internet you will find knowledge is plentifully available throughout the uh, internet and therefore make sure that you understand good knowledge and bad knowledge so please acquire the good knowledge and store it so that you can use it at the appropriate places and obviously the skills are more important the primary skills have to be honed at home the secondary skills have to be acquired on your own and the tertiary skills will be given to you through the college so the college is only one third the two third skills uh, the majority of them are going to be acquired by the students so practice the principles collect the information and uh, also make sure that they acquire the skills now the most important part which i have found out among the younger people is the skills of communication this is very important because communications of all kinds are extremely important the communications and personality are the two important aspects that will determine your future the college years are very important for honing both these aspects to improve your communication skills and also to improve your personality communication skills i am not only talking about verbal communication i am talking about written communication as well as computational communication so you must make sure that you understand the languages well you are able to express your thoughts cogently and properly and you are also able to collect the information note down the summary of anything that you hear because after all whatever the notes that you take the habit of taking the notes is a very very important habit and acquiring accumulating the information and also storing it in some form is very important the third most element that you have to remember in the years to come is the role of digital technology the digital technology is becoming so dominant in life whether you go to the post office whether you go to the bank whether you go to the government office whether you go to the railway reservation office or whether you go to the university you will find that all walks of life is becoming dominant with digital technology and what is this digital technology and how it works as the fundamental level and what is going to be the future of this digital technology is also to be understood because you are going to be the citizens of the future you are not necessarily a citizen of the state you are not necessarily the citizen of the country you are the citizen of the future and therefore it's very important for you to remember that you got to make sure that you understand the fundamentals of the digital technology in fact earlier we used to say analog technology engineering was dominant with analog technology today engineering is becoming dominant with digital technology so whether you are in civil engineering whether you are in mechanical engineering whether you are in electrical engineering or whether you are in computer science you will find that you are going to deal with digital technology whether you will see that there are sensors embedded into the bridges and the health of the bridge is a very important aspect of infrastructure and the tragedy that we have all seen and heard about in uh, part of uh, gujarat is very tragic but if you look at the sensors technology that you can embed sensors in the bridges and signals are taken health of a bridge can be assessed and it is communicated 24 by 7 so you will find that new digital technology is going to change infrastructure whether it is in railways whether it is in defense whether it is in uh, construction or buildings you will find that all the all of it is going to be a very dominant aspect of sensors and if i have to predict the future of sensors is going to be very strong and therefore you all will have to understand 
what is called as the sensor technology. The second most important part is digital to analog or analog to digital conversion. So all the signals that emanate from the nature are going to be, or for that matter, for all the engineering systems are going to be analog signals. The analog signals are going to be converted into digital form, whether it is a picture, whether it is the musical signal, or whether it is a verbal communication that you are, re uh, I'm reaching to you through this internet. All of it is where the original signal is analog, but it gets converted into digital form. And the, the, the question of what should be the resolution, what should be the fineness with which this communication or this digitization takes place. So it is called as the analog to digital and vice versa, the digital to analog technology. Ultimately, what is delivered to you? Maybe the analog technology or maybe the digital form. So you will find A to B conversion and D to A conversion are very important. The third most element for the students to understand is what is called as the uh, wireless communication. When you had to have the wired communication, life was very hell. I mean, it was used to be a problematic. But now because of the opening up of the technology, wireless communication has become very important. And according to me, the communication in general and wireless communication in particular should be understood by all the students, not necessarily from electrical engineering or computer science, but all the students must understand what is the wireless technology. And then you will find that when you have got the signals received in the digital form, processing of the signal and converting them to actuation is the other aspect that signal processing as we call. So when you get the signal, process the signal efficiently, and then convert it for actuation purposes because ultimately you need you may have a digital technology in microwave oven you may have a digital technology in refrigerator you may have a digital technology in washing machine or dishwasher but still you will find that the dishwasher is ultimately having a motor and the sensors that will be embedded into the dishwasher will have to convert the signals to actuation of the motors and therefore you will find that the actuation part is also very important. So these are the basic elements of the technology which all the students will have to learn and once you get all these components understood, well understood through the projects, you practice them and then become proficient with those aspects. You will find that whether you get a job or whether you get the startup, your uniqueness is very important. Your thinking abilities is very important. And I would like to say Mani Chandrasekhar is an army veteran who has 40 years of experience in implementation of telecommunication networks, system studies, human resource management, and administration in the army. He did his BSc from the National Defense Academy Kadakwasala, BTEC in Electronics and Communications from Military College of Telecommunication Engineering, MTEC in Telecommunication Systems Engineering from Kharagpur, Masters of Usmania University and was awarded PhD by Department of South Asia Studies with specialization in Sa Southern Asian Studies at Pondicherry University. He has held various academic positions such as HOD of Information Systems in College of Defense Management Sekhandrabar. Currently, he is the Chief Monitor of Hitam. I would now like to request Major General Mani to present his address on mentoring and welcome him to the dais. Uh, thanks for the introduction. Uh, actually, the, like what she mentioned, I have just been given 10 minutes, so I'll make uh, the 10 minutes count. Uh, like she mentioned, uh, when I uh, retired, 
I got a job in the corporate sector, and uh, I'm a vice president uh, projects there in Zen Technologies, just dealing with defense equipment. And uh, but then I still I said I had to give back something, because when I joined the army, I was just 16 years old. When I joined the National Defense Academy, everything the government of India has done for me. So I said I must give something back. So when Hitam said they're looking for someone, so I went and contacted the the, the CMD of Hitam. Mr. Prashant, then uh, we interacted and then he said, he said, you know, there's something which is happening here is that there is no mentoring going on. He said, can you take on this job of mentoring? And so I did, I thought about it. I said, okay, I have the experience. I'm in the corporate sector, so I know what the corporate sector wants. So I can certainly guide children. And that is my aim to help young people. I can do that. But then I realized that my biggest qualification my biggest qualification is that I am a parent. I am a parent, I have two children. And both are diametrically opposite. So I can just understand what this 7-8 years back I was sitting in your place. First for my daughter, next for my son. And I know exactly what is going through your mind. And they are both opposite. I will tell you how they are opposite. One day my son came back very happy from school. I said, what happened? He said, Papa, I got 80%. Then the same day my daughter came back. She was in tears. I said, what happened? She said, Papa, I only got 80%. So both got 80%. My son was very happy. My daughter was depressed. So that is the biggest qualification. Well, I know both these kids. My daughter, she is passionate, energetic, ambitious, driven. She had a very high CGPA. She went through, uh, she got through that uh, IIM Bangalore, got a good job. And few months back, she got fired from a job. So none of her qualifications help. And right now, she is undergoing a period of relearning. So this is one one trajectory which my daughter took. Second trajectory was my son. Then they both did engineering. Son also did engineering. And when he finished off, his CGPA was 7.25. With that CGPA, he could not go to Europe for MS. Or he cannot go to Canada also. The only place available is you, you can go to the, I mean, you can go to Europe because uh, Europe they have a uh, criteria that it has to be above 7.5. You can go to US for MS, but for that you require the CGP, you require to pass the GRE. Of course, later on they are done away with it. And then once you clear the GRE, you have to pay a lot of money for it. And the poor child is going to be saddled with a loan of 40 lakhs to clear his MS. So when I saw both these trajectories and then I realized that if I have to make a change to the mentoring uh, pattern which is going on here, who helped my son? My son didn't get a campus placement. Who helped him was his friends, his seniors. He didn't have a campus placement. Somehow he went to Bangalore, took a chance. Then one of his friends was uh, alumni. He rang him up and said, there's a job available. Why don't you come? There's a startup. He joined there. Then some other friend told him, then he went and joined Indigo. Then he applied for MS. There again, a friend from his same college was sitting there. So when he landed up in the US, he went and stayed in his room to get into that, to, to start the process of MS. Then I found the students are a big resource. Not only your classmates, but your seniors and everyone. They create the place for you. Similarly for my daughter also. And similarly for me. I got a job because of my coursemates. They recommended my name. That's how the networking worked. So I said, let me get the students involved in the mentoring process. So that was that is what we are trying. I just joined a few months back. This is the theme of our mentoring is the faculty is mentoring. I realized that you know, my children will listen to everybody, they will not listen to me. 
because of generation gap or whatever you can say actually after they became teenagers they stopped listening to their parents but the influencers there are a lot of influencers like their friends seniors and all that so i said if you have to make a difference to the mentoring system let us get student mentors involved i myself have seen that when i went through national defense academy for 3 years we hardly saw our faculty or instructors and all that all the mentoring all the training was done by people 6 months senior to me or or 12 months senior to me so this is our this is my strategy is to involve student mentors in so right from i have identified people from fourth year and third year students during this induction uh, phase we will have classes separately meant for student mentors to come and interact with all of you because there are going to be problems this is a four year long course and in this four years like professor dande also mentioned there are so many decisions you have to take for these decisions we also have formal faculty we'll have classes once a week faculty will also come for mentoring but i feel the student mentors which will be more informal it will be online it can be on whatsapp what we identified is we'll have student mentors looking at branch wise and before once this before the induction finishes i want all of you all of you especially the students to know who are your mentors from which branch whichever branch you are you should know that and that is how i want to start that second is four years is a very long time i hope you realize that and while there is one aspect of skills you are learning engineering skills but the more important thing according to me is skills is not much difference there is a cmr college here there are so many other colleges in pulla reddy college there are so many colleges in hyderabad they are all giving the same skills the same syllabus jntu syllabus where is the difference coming the difference comes there is another thing which i have, as an initiative was started is earlier during the year this we intramural sports used to take place only 3 days in a year so i said sports should become part of your life physical fitness should become part of your life only then will you realize that how important it is so we started having sports right through we have finished volleyball we have the, we have, have we finished kabaddi now and i want your teams also to come up actually i wanted to have your teams right in the during your induction period i wanted to have a volleyball tournament among you people or a kabaddi tournament so i can identify talent because life is not just about skills or engineering life is about it's a complete package package deal so you got to be physically fit you got to have that communication skills the professor dande said you should be able to communicate to people and how do you communicate to people how will they listen how will they understand what you are saying it has to have three things it should be ethical ethical means what you are speaking should be right second it should be logical it should not be absurd and finally it should touch your heart it should be emotional if you have these three qualities when your speech you will be able to reach i don't know telugu i wish i could have spoken in telugu but these are the three qualities needed to communicate to people ethical logical and emotional should touch your heart and the, if like lot of people are going to be talking the one key word which i want you to take away if you remember me after this uh, you know day is over is a word called alchemy alchemy comes from there used to be alchemist alchemist was a person who could take lead and transform it into gold so that was a that was the so it was a huge uh, it was like a it was more mystical and less scientific they were supposed to take the powers of the cosmos and uh, you know getting through with god and all that and transform lead into gold so what we want what the faculty wants what all of us want here sitting here your parents want from the children from your students is that you are all lead now this lead after 4 years should become gold and how will it become gold 
Again, I'll refer back to Alchemist. There's a book called The Alchemist by Paulo Colo. If you're not read it, I'll request all of you must read it. In that, there's a boy who asks, what is the secret of happiness? So, he says, I don't know what's the secret of happiness, but there is some person there, he sits across, you know, very far away. And you have to cross deserts, you have to cross mountains. Then you will find this guy, he knows the secret of happiness. If you ask in India, they'll say, go to Himalayas. Or you go to Buddha, he'll tell you the secret of happiness. But here, this is an African country. So this boy goes across deserts, mountains, reaches the place, and there is a man, there is, he enters, he sees a castle. Inside the castle, a lot of activity is going on. People are running around, walking around. And the busiest person around there is somebody roaming around. So then he asks him, he says, you know, somebody sent me here to find out the secret of happiness. Are you the person? He said, yeah, I am the person. So what do you want to know? He says, I want to know the secret of happiness. He says, okay. He says, here is a spoon, teaspoon. I'll put oil inside it. Now go around the castle and come back and tell me, but take care that the oil should not spill. So this boy went around the castle, carefully carrying the teaspoon with the oil inside it, went around and came back. And he told the, he told the wise man, he said, see, the oil has not spilled. He said, okay, good, you did not spill the oil. But he said, what, but he said, did you notice how beautiful the birds are in my garden? Did you notice there are Turkish carpets? Did you notice the paintings in my castle? I put so much effort in that. Why don't you go around and look at all those things and come? He says, no, I did not notice all that. So again, he says, why don't you go around and come back? So again, that boy went around and came back. Then he asked him, now, now, did you see the castle? He said, yes, I saw the castle. Everything was very beautiful. And you have so much effort you have done, the garden is beautiful, there are so many birds and you know, so many animals, I am so happy to be here. Then he said, what happened to your oil? He says, the oil is spilled. So, that is the secret of happiness. The secret of happiness is, have a ball, have a good time in life, but don't spill your oil. So, this oil changes for everyone. For a student, it is studies. If you have a backlog, whatever you do, you cannot be happy. You know what is a backlog? Carrying forward a subject to the next semester. You can do whatever you want. You can keep be on YouTube, you can be on Instagram, you can be on uh, any social media, Facebook, keep watching videos, keep watching movies. But if you have a backlog, because your job, primary job as a student is to learn is to clear your education. That is your primary job. So that is the drop of oil for the children. For parents, what is the drop of oil? For a mother, I am making a distinction between mother and father. Mother, whether you like it or not, mother is the primary caregiver. For her, the drop of oil is her child. If the child is unhappy, mother can never be happy. You have seen the, of Pepsi, the, uh, who was the, the Indian lady who was the CEO of Pepsi. She is the CEO of Pepsi in US. She still she says, I still feel guilty. I feel guilty because I neglected my daughter. I was not there when she needed me. And she is the CEO. So for a mother, the child, care of the child is the most important. For a father, being the support, being the provider, and being that person. I've been a father. I know my parents, my children never talk to me. They talk only to my wife. But being a father, they know, main huna. Main huna means, I am there. This guy is there when chips are down. This guy is there. Yesterday, I spent three hours in the police station yesterday. Because of something which happened during a ceremony at home. I spent three hours because of my children and we got back whatever was taken from us. So Mehuna is the father. The last resort, that is the father. So this is a drop of oil for all of us, for the faculty, there is no doubt. You have to be there, you have to clear the doubts, you have to teach them. That is a drop of oil for the faculty.
for the leadership you are all there for you alumni they are the most important link in this whole thing there are a lot of people from the alumni here i have sriram who is in kpmg yes and he has come here all the way now today and uh, he is alumni of hitam so alumni also they are there to look out the pre pleasure to invite our guest of honor mr ramesh mantana mr ramesh mantana has done his masters in human resource management from andhra university he has more than 25 years of industry experience and is currently working as the vice president hr at evoke technologies which is a 1200 plus people it company based out of hyderabad he is also the founder member of shrd a hr professional networking non profit organization and also active in various hr forums he is a practitioner of sahaja yoga a unique meditation technique founded by her holiness shri mata ji nirmal devi he is currently the vice chairman of his highness shri mata ji nirmal devi sahaja yoga trust It has more than 3,500 meditation centers across India, and Sahaja Yoga meditation is taught free of cost. I request Mr. Ramesh Mantra to address the gathering on how to be industry ready. May we have a huge round of applause for him. Good morning, all of you. Good morning. I hope all of you are not sleeping. Uh, again, you know, uh, we have ten minutes, and uh, I think we have wonderful speakers here. And how many of you don't understand Telugu? Okay, about five, ten hands. Uh, good. i would have been happy you know if uh, there were more hands raised and we will know why and how many of you are planning to go for a phd or a higher education after your graduation okay again very few hands looks like everybody wants to get into uh, a job or, or i don't know what it is and uh, how many of you have interacted and you have been here for last maybe uh, a couple of hours you have been here uh, how many of you have interacted with any new person you know who is sitting beside you or uh, whom you don't know earlier one two hands three four hands why all these are so important you know why are these questions anybody understand by these questions these are important you know as you get into this new journey you know which you are going to start from today uh, some of these things are very important uh, the reason when i have asked you know people who don't who are not who does not understand telugu so the more diverse you are in terms of your interactions you know your knowledge is better okay which is very important as you grow up uh, in your professional life do you agree or not do you understand did any of your parents have ever said these things to you yes no you should speak out you should learn to speak out now it's time you start speaking out okay see this every thing you know which uh, professor dande has spoke about or you know our professor rajesh kumar has spoke about or mr chandrashekar has spoken about are each and everything are very important okay for you to get into the so called life right you know you're going to get into your life till today or the next another 3 4 years you're going to be still kind of dependence you know you're going to depend on people your parents or Uh, yeah, uh, uh, guardians or whatever it is, but three four years down the line, uh, I think you are going to be on your own. And uh, how many of you have always looked back what happened in your last seventeen or eighteen years of life? Uh, anybody have looked back how you groomed yourself to two three hands? Okay. 
See, every stage of life, you know, you have to acquire new skills. Okay, till 10th when you study, you're studying with a focus of forgetting as, you know, Chandrasekhar uh, said, I mean, you need to get your CGPAs right so that you get into a good college, your intermediate or 12. And then once you get into 12, you're running around, you know, trying to get into a good engineering college. Right? Now, what is that you're going to do in the next four years? What kind of skills you need to acquire? You know, you have to start thinking and give more attention to what your mentors or what your professors are going to say. Okay. Only one small thing which I follow in life, you know, maybe I, I don't think about five years, ten years, six months, uh, whether it's required or not. Uh, but one thing definitely what is required is whatever I'm doing today, is it right or wrong? How many of you feel that it is right? How many of us understand, okay, whatever Professor Dande was saying about uh, uh, whether the communication skills or the technology skills which you need to develop? Or, or no, he spoke about uh, the practical aspect, the theory aspect. I, as a person, always believed you know, that I learned more outside the classroom than inside the classroom. Is it true? No? Why? Why is it? Why is it you know, that you learn more outside the classroom and inside the classroom is less? Inside the classroom, you learn the theory. Okay, and outside the classroom, you make it practical, whatever you're learning inside, how you are able to conceptualize that theory is very important. Okay, just don't you know, study for the sake of studying. You know, just don't go ahead and under your, your you know, theories or whatever you have read, how practical it is being. I think uh, it's wonderful to know, you know that this college provides a lot of aspects uh, which I'm speaking. You know, they have uh, facilities being provided where, you know, and I think I visited this college some time back and I've seen students sitting outside and you know, uh, doing certain you know, programs or talking and then trying to build something. So that's what most important. I think you need to start focusing more. Don't focus on your numbers and how much percentages you get. You will get them automatically. The moment you focus on how you can implement what you're learning in your classroom, I think you need not worry about anything else. You don't worry about what kind of organization will take you after four years. You don't worry about uh, uh, any of those aspects, what is about after four years. So today, what you've learned, you know, whatever your professor has you know, told you, whether you are able to implement it and think about it, I think uh, these are some of the things which we look at you know, when we hire people uh, from colleges. Uh, yeah, communication skills, everybody speaks about it and we understand, you know, uh, and you know, some of us are very excellent speakers, you know, in English and we do that. But sometimes, you know, we feel that we are getting rejected and we don't understand why, you know, I'm speaking well, but I got rejected, you know. So we do campus hiring, uh, we do campus hiring and then people feel, you know, I did so well and why is that I'm not rejected, I'm not selected, right? It is the same thought process what I'm talking about. Okay, you need to understand, okay, uh, we look at whatever is being taught in the college, whatever your theory part. Do you know at least the minimum? That is the minimum basic understanding. If you're strong at your basics on the theory, okay, I think you'll be able to do anything. A very simple example, uh, now I'll give you. Uh, if you have not learned tables, Okay, would we be good in maths? That's the basic which we start in our first class or second class, right? Similarly, every subject will have its basics and you need to understand what is that basic which my professors are trying to teach. And if you don't get that basic and when, we, when you sit in the interviews, uh, when we ask you, my PG, I've done my PG and then when I look at it, then I understood why it is required. So problem-solving skills are the most important aspects.
for any kind of a role which you play in your life. Whether uh, it is a job, whether it is your own, uh, own organization, day in, day out, we are trying to resolve things in our life. Whether you are a parent, whether uh, you are an engineer, whether you are uh, an accountant, Okay, so problem solving skills becomes very important and if you really want to be ahead of people in problem solving, uh, logical and analytical skills helps you a lot in terms of problem solving. Okay, so these are you know, three, four things, you know, a lot of things, you know, a lot of people have spoken about which I thought about, you know, uh, but uh, in the more... Uh, you become the last speaker and it becomes more difficult to speak. Okay, so uh, these are uh, the, the, these are all my real-time experience, you know, which helped me grow in in my life. So it's happy uh, to share with all of you. And uh, for parents, I think Professor uh, Dhande has uh, clearly mentioned, you know, uh, you need to be the mentors. You know, there's no second thought. Uh, our first learning you know, as a child uh, starts off with parents, you know, when you're born you know, from, from a month baby, the learning is always from the parents. Uh, so parents, you need to be very careful, you need to give them that freedom which is required for them to grow, not the freedom which will make them spoil. I think this is very important. Okay, we are not able to, a lot of us don't balance it out properly, you know, either we restrict people too much or we give them too much of freedom. Uh, but we should understand, you know, the freedom for them to grow is different from the freedom which will make them spoil. Okay, so this one important thing I want to share with the parents. Uh, please instill values uh, in your children, you know, values are very important and India is known for values and uh, somewhere we are missing some of them. Uh, it's very small, I think, Chandrasekhar and uh, even Dande said. Integrity, you know, integrity is one of the most important aspects. We might, uh, I see, you know, on the roads we see, you know, you're supposed to take, you know, take, uh, go around two, three hundred meters and then take a U-turn and you're supposed to go. But a lot of us on two-wheelers or four-wheelers, you know, there is a shortcut, you know, you go against the road and then you try to talk, take a shortcut, right? So these are small things in life which you miss, but if you don't follow them from now and make yourself, I think you will lose out in your life, okay? So best of luck to all of you, next four years. Uh, if I have opportunity again, maybe I will interact with you guys. Otherwise, you know, keep moving, keep learning. One funda, whatever I've learned yesterday, I should learn better today. Thank you very much. Thank you all. Thank you so much for your meaningful words, sir. Now, I would like to request Dean IIIC, Dr. Suganda, to present in model-based design and code generation. I would request Mr. Ramana and Churi to address the gathering and welcome him to the dais. Good morning, everyone. Uh, so as she mentioned, I am Ramna Reddy from uh, MathWorks and uh, MathWorks is a co company which develops computational and software tools uh, which are being used in uh, universities and industry. Uh, as she rightly mentioned, a lot of automotive companies, aerospace companies do use our tools. And um, you will see me more often in the campus going forward once you get access to MATLAB and Simulink. Uh, these are the softwares that you will be using as part of your courses. Uh, again. Uh, Professor Rajesh mentioned about project-based learning. That's where uh, my support for this institute comes in. Uh, when you are studying an X course and it requires some sort of computations uh, as part of the course, you might end up using softwares. And MATLAB and Simulink are such softwares where I will be offering support to faculty here 
uh, going forward so that uh, your learning can be better and at the same time faculty also get a feel that uh, what's the learning that happened as part of the course. So with that, uh, so some insights into what we see at universities and what we see at, uh, what we observe at industry because our tools are being used both by universities as well as industry, right? Uh, Project-based learning is one such aspect where many of the universities are already starting doing uh, in some way and this is being more talked about uh, these days because that's where the learning is actually happening and faculty too are pretty proactive in doing that stuff uh, as part of their course. So during the entire four years of uh, your engineering, typically there is something, some emphasis on math and in intermediate or in diploma you do go through some math courses. Uh, what I see in students typically is you're pretty good at solving math equations, but you don't have any idea about what that equation mean in real world. Okay, this is where the missing piece is. This is where the missing computational thinking piece uh, basically comes in. Now, through project-based learning, you will be able to appreciate what that math equation is and how does it relate to the real world application, right? And any support they will uh, we are happy to support uh, this institution right that's one thing now uh, all in all in summary I would say there are two things that you need to look at it during this entire four years course one is uh, one key skill is storytelling uh, this is one thing many of the industries be it startups or well-established industries look for in engineering graduates storytelling uh, okay Kata Chapata Mante, I put a mere eight chair on Kunagani, me rather than a dollop chase Nagani, Adi Endu dollop chaser, Adi Yavaki use out on the okay, Yanta use out on the Yanta impact on Tundi, Iranta mere clear the author of Alec Chapagalagan. Okay, that's where the communication skills basically come in. Okay, so reading, writing, expressing yourself in English on what, what you mean actually by doing that stuff is very important and companies are looking for that particular skill and it is one of the important skills right? that's where you basically sell your idea to people right so be uh, when, when you are taking english course in a, you will be having an english course in the first year too so right so do not take it for granted it is equally important right so language and english is ruling the world right so you need to uh, uh, keep improving the skills around english your non-verbal verbal skills etc and the second most important uh, skill is coding right i guess many of the students here irrespective of your branch of study you will end up learning software how to develop software so that's pretty important uh, once you are out of this uh, institution right uh, people expect you to uh, develop something using software in respect of whatever the language that you learn right so keep these two things in mind storytelling and coding are the two prominent skills in respect of whether you are seeking for a job after graduation or want to set up a new startup these two things will definitely help you okay even if it is uh, for higher education it will definitely help you so keep these two things and then review yourself whether you are doing good in these two terms okay during this entire uh, course of uh, engineering right that's uh, one thing uh, the other thing i want to share this is uh, something personal that happened i uh, to me some stala babu nadunde fourth class avutunnadu very recently he uh, half yearly exams aipoyi daswa tarvata results vachchai na degara kochi 62 marks chala manchi mark le kada daddy annadanne Okay. He did not ask whether this is good marks or not. Manchi mark la kada and adaledu. Manchi mark le kada daddy and not. Right? So at that age, if I don't nudge him and tell him that you, there is always opportunity to improve, right? I'll be setting a bad example. Okay. 62 marks, manchi ve nana, but manchi manka manchi mark la wali. Anna chepe age of chile, a age kala japan. Now, you are engineering. You are in 62 marks. What are you doing? You are in 62 marks. You are in 62 marks. You are in 62 marks. So, 
దాని గురించి పెద్ద కంగారు పడాల్సిన అవసరం అయితే లేదండి ఒకసారి సాఫ్ట్వేర్ నేర్చుకుంటున్నాడా లేదా చూసుకోండి ఫస్ట్ ఇయర్ కొంచెం హ్యాండ్ హోల్డింగ్ చేయాలి ఇక్కడ చేర్పించాం కదా అంత ఫ్యాకల్టీ చూసేసుకుంటారంటే తప్పు ఓకే ఒక ఫస్ట్ ఇయర్ వరకు ఏం చేస్తున్నారు ఏం నేర్చుకుంటున్నారు వాళ్ళకి ఏమైనా ఇష్యూస్ ఉన్నాయా ఇక్కడ ఫ్రెండ్స్ అయ్యారా ఈ కొత్త ఎన్వైర్న్మెంట్కి ఎలా అలవాటు పడిపోయారా ఇది కొంచెం జాగ్రత్తగా చూసుకుంటే ఎస్పెషల్లీ హైదరాబాద్ నుంచి కాకుండా వేరే ప్రాంతాల నుంచి వచ్చిన వాళ్ళు చాలా యాంగ్జైటీస్ ఉంటాయి ఎక్కడ ఉంటాడు ఎలా తింటాడు ఎవరితో ఉంటారు ఇలాంటి ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ అన్నీ ఉన్నాయి కదా సో ఫస్ట్ ఇయర్ వరకు కొంచెం మీకు వేరే పనులు ఉన్నా కానీ కొంచెం చూసుకొని ఫ్యాకల్టీస్తో మాట్లాడి మీ బాబు గురించి కొంత బ్యాక్గ్రౌండ్ కూడా చెప్పి ఏమన్నా స్పెషల్ కేర్ కావాలంటే ఓకే సో దట్ విల్ రెడ్యూస్ యువర్ బర్డన్ ఆల్సో వెన్ యూ గో బ్యాక్ టు యువర్ హోమ్ ప్లేస్ రైట్ సో దిస్ ఆర్ సమ్ థింగ్స్ కొంచెం కష్టమైనా కానీ ఒక కంప్యూటర్ గురించి కలిగితే బాగుంటుంది బట్ అది కూడా లేకపోతే సంథింగ్ ప్రోబబ్లీ మేనేజ్మెంట్ హెల్ప్తోనో ఎలానో ఒక కంప్యూటర్ గురించి కలిగితే చాలా బాగుంటుంది అది చాలా హెల్ప్ అవుతుంది వాళ్ళకి బికాస్ చాలామంది ప్రొఫెసర్స్ చెప్పినట్టు ఎవ్రీథింగ్ ఈజ్ సాఫ్ట్వేర్ నా రైట్ ఇర్ రెస్పెక్టివ్ ఆఫ్ ద బ్రాంచ్ దే స్టడీ ఏ డిపార్ట్మెంట్లో ఏ చదివినా కానీ సాఫ్ట్వేర్ నేర్చుకోవాలి రైట్ సో దానికి కంప్యూటర్ అవసరం ఉంటుంది ఇక్కడ ల్యాబ్స్ ఉంటాయి బట్ చాలా తక్కువ టైం కాలేజ్లో ఉంటారు కాబట్టి మిగతా టైంలో కూడా సాఫ్ట్వేర్ నేర్చుకోవాలి కాబట్టి ఒక కంప్యూటర్ ఉంటే చాలా బాగుంటుంది ఓకే నా గ్రాడ్యుయేషన్ అప్పుడు మా నాన్న వాళ్ళకి డబ్బులు లేవు మేము లోన్ తీసుకొని కెనరా బ్యాంక్లో లోన్ తీసుకొని సిస్టమ్ కొనుక్కున్నాం రైట్ దట్ దట్ రియలీ హెల్ప్ మీ అలాట్ రైట్ సో కొంచెం కష్టమైనా కానీ ల్యాప్టాప్ ఒకటి కొనిచ్చగలిగితే చాలా బాగుంటుంది అండ్ విత్ దాట్ ఐ కంక్లూడ్ మై టాక్ ఐ విష్ యూ ఎ వెరీ హ్యాపీ జర్నీ హియర్ నాకు చాలా కంగారు పడిన ఫేస్లు కనిపిస్తున్నాయి బట్ ప్రాబ్లం లేదండి ప్రొఫెసర్స్తో మాట్లాడండి మీ పిల్లవాడు గురించి చెప్పండి రైట్ అండ్ ఐ విష్ యూ ఎ వెరీ హ్యాపీ జర్నీ ఎవ్రీ వన్ అండ్ ఆల్ ద బెస్ట్ థ్యాంక్స్ Thank you so much, sir, for such an informative speech. Now, I would like to request our Assistant Director of Doing Engineering, Dr. Shiva Prasad, to present Mr. Ramana with a memento. Mutual conferences and journey. It is an honor to have you here, ma'am, and may I request you to address the gathering. May we have a huge round of applause for our Chief Guest, Dr. R. Shri Devi. thank you and uh, very mostly it's a good morning only very good morning to all of you and uh, firstly parents students and college management principal deans directors faculty students of this college and guests and press and media very good morning to all of you first of all i would like to congratulate all the students who have joined uh, this hitam college and also i congratulate parents uh, for the success of their students and uh, this is very tough for me to speak uh, as a uh, like a chief guest or guest whatever it may be on this occasion because many of the elderly persons have covered most of the concepts and again i don't want to repeat the same thing i don't want to make you bored just i want to give some of the uh, like uh, my experiences or otherwise some of the tips for the students to be a successful graduate okay and uh, i worked uh, very closely with the student community uh, by god's grace actually i feel and uh, it's really healthy to work in the students uh, uh, environment we always energetic you know the positive energy wherever we are in a positive energy we will be attracted towards that always we are with a very young positive energetic uh, students it's a uh, god's grace i am there and uh, it's really the wonderful part of this is uh, students are uh, very very iq levels are very very high comparing with us see we have been graduated like uh, 22 years before the because i am observing the skills of the students not only our jnt campus students the other colleges also have we used to visit and their uh, like iq levels are really very good only point is that the time they spare for their studies is to be enhanced that's where i am feeling see comparing the our uh, student uh, age and now these students 
so we used to sit and uh, study for most of the time because maybe the very uh, many other reasons uh, the one very first point is that uh, we studied in our uh, universities basically we don't have these many facilities what this uh, hitam college was telling that time there is no clubs there is no internet there is no laptop nothing is there with us but in spite of that we used to read textbooks more so this is the one of the serious tip to all of you that students please read please study your engineering subjects only from the prescribed textbooks is given in the syllabus it is given by the jnt university the whole syllabus the syllabus in the jnt university is revised for every 2 years as per the needs of the industry suppose if you compare with other university jnt university syllabus is very ahead and it is matching more with the industry so that is where actually you are having a very good advantage and um, this is the one point which i would like to give as a tip for you and the second point is that don't waste your time mostly for your this phones and the social networks so yeah actually it's required it's required i say it is required maybe the students don't like this point right isn't it isn't it say yes or no yes but it is true see actually you should have a social networking and everything is required but up to some extent it is not uh, like uh, dominate your uh, future that's what you please remember you are all mature you are all more intellectual than us also i believe it's not uh, really i'm telling and uh, the other experience what i feel is that peer uh, peer uh, uh, discussions like whenever you discuss with your seniors with whenever you discuss with your classmates you feel more comfortable rather than speaking with the teachers so that you please inculcate for which the clubs are very much useful as an experience i'm telling when i was like uh, uh, head head of the department department of csc that time i started like a practically i started one club called coding club it is running even today fantastic and the, like uh, you know what are the fruits of that club is i feel very proud of that coding club even today it is running very fantastic and uh, that time uh, one student got uh, placement dream package of 46 lakhs so he was giving uh, when uh, interview for the news channel i have seen in tv9 that he was telling about that coding club is the one club which was really useful uh, for us to know because that is the place where actually because the professor maybe i am a professor i am teaching one or two or three or four subjects but i may not be aware of what are the tips and what are the things need to be learned for the good placement or good career some of the aspects so that's the reason what i did is that when i started the coding club i asked one of the alumnus who got a very good package to come and take over the session so you don't believe even in a class they not sit like that okay so really what is the topic there is that tips of getting good good packages in a industry software industry so he was keep on telling so the same point the professors are also telling but it is not touch okay so that's the reason always it is better to work in a coding clubs or any other clubs whatever like a google uh, uh, club or something else they were telling so it is always better and if possible i suggest this college to start the coding club it is really very much useful and there are so many hackathons and all are happening the students will be having that network and they together they form the uh, teams and without the support of the faculty itself they form the teams and they are go They, they'll be knowing that they'll be getting the exposure what is happening in the uh, like uh, society regarding the hackathons and all so this is one aspect which i would like to share with you which is which i can say it is a best practice which i have done uh, when i am doing my headship so the other point is that uh, you be you should be very healthy see this is not technical but i am telling you see you should be very healthy sometimes uh, some of the students tell See, I am not coming to college. No, I am not feeling well. See, few people are telling like this at the age of twenty. What I have to tell? What I have to tell? Tell me. I have two kids, okay, and I have so many home responsibilities. I have so much of administrative responsibility, and all that. In spite of that, what we have to tell? See, the very good thing in a life is that you should be mentally and physically should be very strong, 
and you should take care of that all of you please go for take choose any one of the sports and games and please do continue in that it is very much required so, okay for your long lasting uh, like health and all so this is one point which i would like to share and the third point is that now the world is looking for skilled professionals it's not for professionals it's for skilled professionals means that for example i'll tell you See, I am working as I am heading the Center of Excellence in Cyber Security at a JND University level. So, because of that, I I, I know some of the things like uh, uh, like 3.5 million jobs in the cyber security industry are unfilled in coming few years. In coming few years, see the number of students who are actually doing professional courses. See, it need not be any B.Tech cyber security only. It can be any professional course. They can do other, I um, mean, other trainings also can be taken up. That and all can be done with the cyber security. And as like that, AIML, data science, and all the branches, each and every branch is having its specific requirement in terms of skilled professionals, not as a professionals. So the industry is required about the skills, not your uh, your B Tech degree is a minimum thing, but your skills are required. So please do remember. Try to learn through the skill orientation. It is, uh, and also it comes only through the practice. It is not just sitting and listening in the class. You should understand the concepts and try to implement each and every concept of engineering subject. To try to implement in a, your laboratory with the support of a faculty. That is more and much required. Okay. So these are the some of the things which I would like to share with you. The very first point is that you should take care of your health first. And you should take care of your uh, uh, skills, skill set first. And the next one is each and every one of you, each and every one of you, like, uh, should inculcate human values and ethics. Human values and ethics are really important. Maybe you know or not, even in your B.Tech grad, this course also, we have a subject called human values and ethics. So actually, sorry to say this, See, when, have, when we are doing our graduation, when we are doing our B.Tech, M.Tech and all that, that time there is no such type of courses are given in the syllabus. Now you can understand what is the requirement of the society, why, what it is adopted in the like um, uh, syllabus. Okay, try to inculcate. So I'll tell you a simple example. I don't know why the students, some of the students, not all. See, this semester we are going to class, they wish us. For the next semester, no, they don't wish. And the next semester, if I am going there, so that class, again. So what does it mean? What does it mean? Do you think I am not uh, knowledgeable than you? Huh? <laughs> no, it should not be like that. See, it should be heartfully. Heartfully, you have to wish. Wishing is, need not say namaskaram and all. Just you can say good morning, good afternoon, good evening. That's it. So otherwise, a small smile is also impacts very high. Okay? So have a good relationship with your parents, teachers and in society also and smiling face always carries a good things to you. Okay, some of the problem, if at all anybody is coming to me like with some problem, I just simply smile and let them feel relaxed and ask them to sit for some time. Immediately half of the problem will be solved. Being administrator, these are the administrative skills because then in future most of you become also administrator. Okay, so the, always try to be very happy and try to be very healthy and try to be knowledgeable. So these are the secrets of any successful graduate. If you follow this, definitely I can see you as a very successful graduate. And uh, you you know, there is a, uh, one of the sentences I, uh, I, I read from somewhere, like scientists will think of the nature or they try to get something from the nature or they research the nature. But the good engineers, they make the change in the nature. They make the change in the nature. What is that? Robo is coming. It's a change in the nature, right? Okay? So that's where actually, uh, and the uh, other point of that is JNT University is offering minor degrees and honors degrees also. Honors degrees are with the 20 additional credits. Actually, the student has to secure 160 credits for to get a B.Tech degree. In addition to that, they need to get 20 more credits for getting the honors, honors degree. And for minors degree, they need to get 18 credits more. What is the use of this minor degree is that, like 
the student may be not only BTEC CSE, they may be from the electrical or EC or mechanical or any other branch. If they do the minor degree, they are trying, uh, if they get uh, 18 credits more by completing those specified, specified courses, they'll be given a minor degree in the area of cyber security, AML, data science and all that. So it will be really useful for their career in these particular areas of expertise. So these are the things which are the practices just very last last year only we started from JND University. It is really useful to all of you and uh, opportunities are waiting to you all and uh, there is no point of not getting jobs. Jobs are ready but only thing is skilled professionals are not, uh, not ready. So if you are becoming a like skilled professionals, definitely you will be getting a very good, wonderful opportunities. And finally, I want to see all of you as engineers who can change the world. Thank you one and all and thanks for giving me this opportunity. Experience on identity risk management, Gardner's domain of different clients and he excels in the fields of software delivery methodologies like waterfall and agile. Apart from that, he is a great social worker and is the founder of Sahaya in Hittam. And I would like to request him to come on the dais and address a gathering. Thank you, Shreya. Good afternoon, everyone. Many congratulations and you know warm welcome to all the parents and uh, students. So before I start, right? Uh, so 2004 when I started, no, like I'm 2008 passed out the college, no CSE department Now 2022 is the other side of the story, stage pain, no, no. So today uh, I want to touch upon one important point. Uh, you know, uh, giving back to society. Uh, one of our chief guests also mentioned about it. Uh, Shreya also mentioned about the Sahaya. So at professional level, my name is Sriram. I work as an associate director in KPMG. I pursue my B.Tech from Royal College of Engineering and also I pursue my EGMP from IIM Bangalore. So that is all about me. And coming back to the giving back to society, and the NT. So we started a program called Sahaya in 2008. Now it's close to 14 years. We are running successfully still. So we almost covered 20 colleges in Hyderabad and 2000 students in and around Hyderabad and we covered 20,000 school students. So Sahaya is all about going to government schools on every weekend and teaching them some of the basic English and computer sciences. So this is what we are doing from the last 14 years and believe me this all started in a classroom of Hitam. So three students, three of us like you know discussed about the idea and we went this idea to the college management immediately to support Chesaru and support Chedam and you know Deccan Chronicle cover chess in the Inadu cover chess with so many news channels also cover chess. It is all started in Hitam College. So one key takeaway ANT and the initiative should come from the student side. Hitam is always there to support. That is very important point for all of us. And secondly, if you see the you know current market, right? Uh, you may or may not aware there is a concept called ESG. E stands for environment, S stands for social, G stands for governance. It's a framework. So, Prithi organization ki, this is a major, you know, objective for coming years. Environment ain't and a planet ni protect chedam anandari bajata. Alake social chuskunte people, like protecting people, or uh, differences and, you know, gender bias, even ni koda, this koda man responsibility and the governance part. Organizations yanta transparent ga unna yane di. So, one suggestion and one key takeaway for all the freshers, ANT and A, me career goal ki, try to add one social goal. You know, it can be from anything, planet ni protect chechu, people ni protect chechu, uh, you know, transparent ga onda chu, it can be anything, but try to add that, you know, social goal to your career goal to become a successful, you know, human being. So, that is very important and I would like to thank Kita Management for giving this opportunity. Jai Hind. And that is Kripali. Kripali is from batch 2013 and she was the first SSG principal. SSG stands for student self-governance. It is the prime body in our institution where students take management responsibilities and make sure every decision has student involvement in it. It is my honor to call the first principal of SSG onto the stage. May we have a huge round of applause. Good afternoon everyone. Thank you Siddharth uh, for introducing me. So, 
we thought it would be uh, ending a bit uh, early, like but it got delayed. Um, so I have been uh, a 2013 pass out of Hitam, and um, to see the transformation, upputla Hitam, ipudu in college entry and ochin tarvata Hitam, chala change hai. Bundle of opportunities. Each and every student, if you are passionate enough, if you have the zeal and interest to achieve something, I think Hitam is the place which is giving you the right opportunity to explore yourself and to enhance your inner skills. So that's one thing uh, which I want to really say that Hitam has grown massively in student development and all the placements which are coming in, it's very huge. So it put the chala formal with all uh, formal uh, orientation here in I just want to take a little liberty with all your permission, all the respective permission. I just want to enter in between the crowd. Parents me andru, me reno ashal vetkoni in the duramo ochi, you know, me pillani engineer savali, idi yoka dream, me pillani la churali, maabai maabai la undali and ankun targada. So, koncham interactive ga nenu me to me madalo ochi, meeru e college, hitam anoka college ki. What are your expectations? Meeru ye me ankoni me pillani kada join me as naru. Meeru mamma ne mana questions adga ankun nara nenu nano. Senior faculty gani, alumni gani, me kumi ke mana questions ever in a crowd lo. Parents tarafna meeru mana matla dali ana na kunte. Dai chesi okay. You can. What we heard about up here in the Hitam is uh, primarily the importance is given to the uh, skill related thing and personal development over here. So that's the reason we have joined him here in the Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Anyone else? Yeah, like uh, basically I thought uh, of doing engineering and uh, I had a uh, like one of my uh, friend, like uh, she is a neighbor, and she said about Hitam. Firstly, I don't know about Hitam and all. Then, uh, after coming to the college, I got to know about uh, my uh, Harsha sir. He has explained me about the things what what have to do and all. Then, personally, I liked. Him. I thought, okay, I have to do something that uh, I have to put a benchmark. After listening to the uh, all the motivation uh, things and and thinking like uh, to pursue my BTEC in this Hitam College uh, successfully. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. All the motivation speeches that we heard, uh, I myself got really motivated, but it's too late for me. But yeah, I'm really excited for him and thank you, thank you for everything. Thank you. Past four years, so this putting a lot of efforts. Sir. And uh, so just when I heard uh, like all the dignitaries speaking, uh, mainly about uh, mainly the the quantity and quality, the way that he explained Sanjay uh, and day, so that was very nice. Uh, and uh, so for uh, not only to my nephew, for everyone, all the students, like you know, I I uh, tell them like you know, be, be yourself in college. So this is the only one chance that you get in lifetime. Thank Absolutely you. Absolutely good point, Tandi. I think you know uh, we are just all the students out here, right? Freshers just passed out with. Be yourself. At the same time, be responsible for the society and for your family and parents who are taking care of you. That is very important. Enjoy your entire four years of your life. It will never come back. That is for sure. It will not be like movies as they show you in happy days or any other space. But try to make yourself, your life more beautiful. More responsible towards your parents who are dreaming something about you that you will achieve something in your life that is very much needed. So, I will just uh, students of pressure just pick randomly. I just want to know what are your expectations from uh, parents will be having but even students should be having the zeal to know like what they want to achieve. So, hmm. Just give me two more minutes, okay?
all your uh, all the freshers all the parents ambitions all the student ambitions may get fulfilled i think hitam is a right place and the right path for you to achieve your goals your career aspirations uh, thank you hitam and the entire team for giving me this opportunity thank you so much our commitment towards establishing a channel of communication still goes on as these four years pass we will try to keep being in touch with you and now i would like to humbly thank our chief guest dr r shri devi our guest of honors mr ramana and mr ramesh professor sandeep dande and the dignitaries for coming and sharing their words with us i would also like to thank ms misab for coordinating the event register colonel subramanian and administrative officer mr ravi for logistics display koshik in charge ssg team student volunteers and most importantly the newly inducted students and their parents without whom this event would have not taken shape thank you all and now i request you all to rise for the national anthem I request the parents and students to please be seated. We have a small program for you where we'll be having a department break on the right side, mechanical and triple. If there is any confusion, you can ask any one of the volunteers, or you can directly come near the dais and ask me. Next, for branch EC, I would like to call Nagesh onto the stage. Nagesh, third year student. So please follow Nagesh. to room T11 students of EC please follow nagesh to T11 nagesh if you could stay in front of the stage for some time so that they can assemble now i request sai uday kiran to come on to the stage branch csc student volunteer from third year also i request mahalakshmi to come on to the stage all the students from branch csc please follow mahalakshmi and uday I request the student volunteers to take your branch students immediately. We don't want any blockages here. There will be a lot of parents and student movement. Student volunteers for branches CSM, CSD, CSO, CSC, please start moving to your classes. Just for your clarification, I'm announcing the rooms also. If you lose your guide, T01 CSM AI ML, T02 CSD Data Science. T zero five CSO Internet of Things, T zero six CSC Cyber Security, T zero eight Triple E Mechanical, T eleven ECE, F zero four CSC. Triple E has a different room now, which is G zero four, G zero eight. T stands for third floor. F stands for I request the parents to stay back as we have a small event sir, for you. Sir, Only students to go to these classrooms and meet their department heads and department faculties. Paper.
I'm announcing the classrooms again. T01, third floor, CSM, AIML. T02, CSD, Data Science. T05, CSO, Internet of Things. T06, CSC, Cyber Security. G08, Triple E. T08, Mechanical. T11, ECE. And F04, CSE. F stands for first floor, G, ground, T, third floor. If you have any doubts, you can come on to the days and I can guide you. I request the parents to say back. <laughs>